So I love to mod my 993 and consider myself a bit of an expert on the subject. But when I find myself needing answers, there's only one guy I call. That's my good friend, Dustin Dufkus. A guy who's forgotten more about fixing and modding classic Porsches than I'll ever... you get the idea. My name is Dustin Dapkus. I drive a 1995 993 RS Tribute. So, I uh, started out when I was very young. I've always had an affliction with cars. Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels cars, Legos. This is our generation. This is what we grew up with and I had to take everything apart. I couldn't leave anything well enough alone and when you have the ability to fix things, when something breaks, you try to improve on them. So I've always kind of had that mindset with everything, going back to my bicycles and skateboards and my first car, which I blew up three times and rebuilt and, and that evolved as well. So I've never really left well enough alone. And my end goal, knowing that we would never have an RS over here, I would never be able to afford an RS nowadays, would be to build something close to a cup car or an RS club sport that I could drive on the street. So the car was uh, a bit of a um, project that had a damaged engine. It was a car that I would say had all the options that I probably would have ordered. It was a paint to sample car. It was a Carrera 4, which was useful back in Chicago. Used to roll around with snow tires on it and actually drive the car year round. It was my daily driver. I still drive it daily. Um, and I was able to buy the car and had the skill set because of my trade to fix the car and, and make it what it should have been the car slowly evolved from there. In my day job, I work with super high-tech cars all the time, and they've lost touch with the driving experience. I want something pure. I want to make the car as simplistic as it can. I'm in the middle of going one step further with weight reduction right now, and I'm working on roll-up windows, manual locks, manual mirrors. You're not going to save much weight, I know that, but I like the analog feel of those things. You know, my wife, she was driving with a couple of younger, you know, millennial age girls, not to judge. And uh, she kind of did one of these, like, hey, roll down your window. And the girl was like, what? Never seen a roll down window. I, I would definitely say that, you know, I have a hard time not turning around and looking at the car every now and then. I'm proud of the fact that it's not something I bought, that I built, um, that I've earned, you know. It's, uh, I, I would call that an affliction with something. I think it's time to enjoy the car. I've tinkered with it enough, I've taken everything apart. It's time to enjoy the car with my family. So that's, that's gotta be next. Nice.